Okay, so the other day I recorded on TikTok what happens when you uh, don't clean out your dryer vents and uh, dryer lint can catch on fire. Now, obviously, due to TikTok's community guidelines, they you know obviously removed the uh, the video. They said it violated the community guidelines. So what we're gonna do is I cleaned out just a little bit of lint out of my dryer trap. Um, unfortunately, I cleaned out the uh, the exhaust the other day, so there's actually nothing really to uh, clean out as far as that's concerned, but hopefully this right here will kind of give an indication of uh, how quickly dryer lint can catch on fire. Now, there are a lot of people that use this stuff in um, toilet paper rolls to light fireplaces or take on camping trips, which is a great idea. Um, it's just always important to all, you know, remember to always clean out your dryer vent. Okay, so we are on my back patio now. We're just gonna place the, uh, the dryer lint right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strike the ladder and I'm just gonna touch it to the dryer lint. We're not gonna hold it and basically we're just gonna show you what happens when a sudden burst of heat comes into contact with dryer lint. So here we go. As you can see, it actually catches on fire really quick. It's got a low flash point uh, simply due to the material. Um, and if you don't clean out your dryer vents occasionally, every six months to one year minimum, um, the heat coming out of the dryer can actually generate enough heat to uh, actually catch your dryer lint on fire, which can result in a house fire. Now, I can't remember the exact statistic, but uh, I know cooking uh, accidents are the number one leading cause of house fires, but you can speak to any firefighter, and they will tell you that dryer lint is a major source of ignition when it comes to house fires. So hopefully, you know, that kind of gave you an indication that you need to clean out your dryer vents, um, but please do so every six months to one year minimum.